Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Wisconsin State Whitetails Dynasty. Today, we focus on the basketball team as the football team has a bye, so they will not have any games for like two weeks. But we do get our second win of the season versus Louisville bouncing back here in the middle of the month of October, at least the end of the month of October. In the game, it says a later date, but we will go off of two months uh, behind. We end up losing to UNC and also USC. So we lose games really, really quickly here, dropping to two in five at this point. And then we lose another game, getting to a two and six record. So here we are now in, like I said, the first half of the season, and we sit here at number 23 in the power rankings, and I don't think that updated right there. The record still show two and five. We are two and six at this point, though. But the basketball squad, we're doing a lot of learning here in season one, learning the game, you know, seeing other guys' strengths and seeing how to play defense against other teams, especially, you know, when these teams go on scoring runs, how do we kind of combat that? I think that's the big thing. Playing good defense also, and I think uh, recruiting slash drafting into this game will be a big part of it. But we'll see. Elias Dulock leads our team in scoring 12.5 points per game. David Cutler with 11. King Watson with 10. Those are the only three guys over double digits right now. Jarvis Joshua is playing good defense this year, but he only averages 9.7 points per game. Pooh Van Macklin coming off of the bench is averaging eight, actually. Tristan Wynn, the two-sport athlete, defensive end, and small forward. He's averaging seven points per game. I definitely want to get our three-point game going a little bit because I think that we're decent at scoring uh, underneath the basket, but I think I want to get the outside game going as well. Dante Peppers was a starter for our first game, and then he got hurt and really hasn't been back in the starting lineup since. Averaging 4.7. Manny Pablo, the freshman, 4.5. I love the way he works. And then he's averaging 5.5 rebounds per game as well. So here are the nation's leading scorers. Knight, we just saw last episode, he scored 30 points. He's averaging 30 points per game here for Boston College. Toscano, who we will play Duke in a couple of uh, games coming up. Uh, he's averaging 28 points per game. Look at DJ Washington and Landry from Kentucky and Kansas. Landry is actually averaging 25 points per game, but 21 rebounds. Imagine averaging 25 and 21. And he's even averaging 7.1 assists also. So that guy is the best player in the country by far. He's definitely a, a big favorite to win player of the year. He is amazing. And just looking at the assist leaders, Perry Glover from UConn is averaging 9.4. Christie is second with 8.3 for Kansas. And Arizona's Moncrief is averaging seven assists per game also. I just talked about, you know, how recruiting and the draft will be a big part of this series. And obviously this is a mod of NBA 2K, but this is College Ho Hoops 2K. That means that we're going to be drafting. It's just a little bit different here. But... In a couple of episodes, I will have the episode to submit either for football and or basketball. So make sure you guys get your guys in and you guys can be one of these guys in the draft class and then end up being on one of the other teams, maybe even the White Tails. So I do want to kind of like switch some minutes up here. Uh, I like Jakari Moon right now. At, I mean, Jacob Moon as our big man, but I do want to give some more uh, run to Manny Pablo. I have decided to kind of move him back to the bench only because I need some versatility off the bench, and he provides that, so I want to keep him there. And now we head to the end of the month of October and um, getting into November pretty soon, and we go up against our rival in basketball and football, one of them at least, in the Pittsburgh Panthers. They are very, very good. 4-1 and one record. They are one of the best defensive teams in um, the nation right now, and they don't have like a big-time scoring offense. You can just see right here, they have a couple of guys with Perkins, Jones, Moss that are averaging double point or uh, double digit points per game. But other than that, you know, they're not that great of a scoring team. I think they just play really good team basketball. So we will see what happens today as we try to get our fourth win of this uh, season. Actually, our third. Sorry about that. Third win of this season. 
And here we go with the Whitetails. And our basketball team has a lot of growing to do. We'll see what we can do on the road here versus Pittsburgh. And here we go. They do win the tip off. And here is their point, point guard, Moss, who is very, very good. He can shoot the ball well. Holmes can as well, who has the ball. He works it around to Perkins back over to Moss. We definitely had to contain Moss with his three-point shooting today as Holmes has it with eight seconds on the shot clock. Looks like they are still running a play here. Four on the clock, passing to the top. This is going to be a good one. Who pump fakes and throws up a three, and that's going to be good. All of that to get a three-point sh shot by their big man, and it goes in. King Watson comes the other way. He's so good in one-on-one, -on -one, but I do want to work him uh, some plays. And here's a good one. Here's Watson with an open three. He does have the gold steady shooter badge, which allows him to obviously shoot pretty consistently. As here's a deep three missed by Moss. Defensive board here by the Whitetails. Going up the court is Jarvis Joshua. He goes all the way to the basket. Pump fakes. Tries to get his man off the ground. He doesn't even budge. Here's Watson again with the three. Passing over to Joshua. And he can't handle the pass. Holmes goes the other way with the dunk. I think just cleaning up the offense is going to be really the goal here in year number one. I don't think we're expecting to compete. We have one of the worst rosters in the NCAA right now. As Jarvis Joshua goes to the line after getting fouled right there. And he will hit the first and will also hit the second, tying this ball game up at five apiece. This would be a big time win on our NCAA tournament resume, though, and there is a corner three by Holmes. And that makes it an eight to five game. Here's a missed three from the corner now from Pittsburgh. Here is Jarvis Joshua going the other way. One thing I love about Manny Pablo is that he can push the ball up the court, but that's a nice find, finding Janko Moon, and he blows the layup right there. As here comes Pitt the other way now, handling the basketball, posting up King Watson. This is a definite mismatch, and they just go all the way in, and Watson had no shot right there. So a 10-5 game now. Here's Watson calling for the pick from Tyrone Jones, who cuts to the basket. We try to find him here under the hoop, and he has a good look, but he cannot get it to go. So a couple of missed shots under the hoop already here. 10-5 game. Here they work it inside again to Perkins, and he gets it to go. So a 12-5 game. Pittsburgh is taking advantage of the mismatches inside already. Here is a good rip that time. And once again, ripped. Elias Dulac gets ripped. This time Holmes comes up with the steal. He drives all the way. And look at the strength going to the basket over our best perimeter defender, Jarvis Joshua. And we will have to call a timeout right there. It's 14-5 now. Tristan Wynn had a look right there, but he decided not to take it. Back to David Cutler off the bench who comes in. He passes it over to Dante Peppers with the ugly shot off the backboard. Another wasted possession here for the Whitetails. Looking for some offense here in the first quarter. Here we're working around uh, Jamario Emmers. He has it at the top. He can't get to the lane. Cutler has it again. Pass inside, and it gets stolen. We had to lob it over the top of that guy. And now here we are once again with another possession. Here is Manny Pablo off the bench driving. This is what he does so well, but he cannot get the foul or the basket to go. So still a 14-5 game. We have been stuck on this score for a while now. Here is Galloway in the game now. Working it to the top. This is Snow off the bench. And he hits the three. 17-5 start here for Pittsburgh. The Whitetails are grasping for any type of offense here. Here we are working it inside to Manny Pablo. His man does not go off the ground. And away from the ball, they're going to call a legal screen. I mean, we are just shooting ourselves in the foot to start this game. Christian Love on the defensive board. Here's a nice pass up to Manny Pablo. Hop step all the way to the basket. Good find by David Cutler. I really like Cutler as a point guard. I think he could even be a starter. I said it before this uh, season even started. I said that there's going to be a lineup where both of them are in the game. King Watson and Cutler. And there's a good defensive uh, possession right there by Manny Pablo and Christian Love as we head into the second quarter. Right away, the White Tails already giving up the rock. And that snow the other way. He gets the layup in transition. 19 to 7. And we're down by 12. Here's another three by snow. That one rims in and out. Defensive board by Christian Love, the freshman. Here we go in transition. Dante Peppers. And he puts a layup up and gets it blocked. But luckily, Christian Love is there on the offensive rebound. And he does get the foul call. 
He hits both free throws, but Pittsburgh continues to score here. It's now 22 to nine. Here's Watson getting to the basket with a two-handed flush. I think that's what I want to see more of from King Watson. If he's aggressive, he can score the basketball, especially getting to the basket. He's a lot faster than everybody that's pretty much guarding him. 22 to 11, the score is doubled up here. Here is Moss, though, taking it to the basket in an acrobatic layup, and he will draw the foul on our big man, Tyrone Jones. So Jarvis Joshua now gets to the free throw line. He hits a nice jumper. He's got four. Four minutes to go here in the first half. Down by 11 now. Here's Joshua Ham the ball again. He tries to get to the basket. He hesitates a little bit and tries to find Tyrone Jones on that pass. And it's deflected by Perkins the other way. And it will be a foul on Watson. I would have fouled him right there too. Stop the easy layup. Use your fouls. But it's 26 to 13. Janko Moon playing some good defense right there, but here we have a jump ball. We have to win this one, definitely. If we lose, it's embarrassing. But we tip it right to Holmes. He's under the hoop. It's an and one. Tyrone Jones was right there. He did not even grab the tip and let Holmes get it. And he converts for a three-point play. Plays like that definitely show you what type of team you are. We are just not a great team right now. Definitely getting used to things, but that's no excuse for a play like that. An easy jump ball. I mean, you can't, you can't, that stuff can't happen. But here's a transition three, and that one is going to fall for Pittsburgh. And now with one second to go in the first half, we try to pass it up the court. They still get the last shot off, and it's off of the rim. I mean, just like pitiful, pitiful offense here from the Whitetails, pitiful effort to be honest, and this is a rivalry game also, being down at half. So 35 to 21, it just has not been pretty so far as we start the second half. Here's Elias Dulock getting to the basket, and he can't hit the layup. Dulock, remember, coming into this game, our leading score has zero points up to this point. As Pittsburgh just continues to light us up here. Here is Jarvis Joshua looking for Watson, but here they go the other way. It's Holmes again with a defensive steal. And now it's 39 to 23. Perkins inside fadeaway. No, he thinks about it. Moss gets it on the perimeter. And here is Watson now guarding Moss, but a good spin move. And he goes the other way. 23-41. Pittsburgh just putting it on us at this point. Here's Tristan Wynn with the rock. He just takes the three here as the shot clock winds down. There is David Cutler on the offensive board. He gets it over to Dante Peppers. And at least I want to see some effort from the guys. And I see David Cutler is trying to make some plays here in the second half as he gets some burn. And like I said, everybody's pretty much trying out. So here's Cutler again from the outside. That's good. He does have the catch and shoot badge as well. So it might serve us well to put Cutler in the starting lineup. Defensive board now. Here's Tristan Wynn running, running in transition. Looks up court to Cutler, and he gets another basket. Six off the bench for David Cutler. So here he fakes a three now, getting it over to Peppers. Peppers back to Cutler. Cutler for three, and that's good. He's had the last few baskets here for the Whitetails. It brings it back to a 15-point game. Even though this game may be out of reach, I still like the things I'm seeing from David Cutler. Is now here we are on defense, and Pittsburgh just, just abusing us at this point. And it's been that kind of game all game today. But I want to see a couple of nice possessions here as Tyrone Jones gets the bucket right there. 49-34, good defense by Jones this time. And he throws it up the court. Watson being aggressive here, getting to the basket, but he finds Tristan Wynn. Mid-range shot. That's good. 13-point game. Let's see if we can get it down to double digits now to end this ball game. As here is Holmes handling the basketball. He gets a pick from both sides, driving. And look at the acrobatic shot. Wow. Pittsburgh up by 15. Holmes, once again, that was Moss, actually. Moss is the one with the headband. He gets inside again. It's just been this type of game. I mean, they have just been getting any shot they really, really want. And Pittsburgh just really taking advantage at this point. King Watson now at the end of the game. He's been kind of the guy I've been trying to get going with offense. Here is a two-man game here. Stolen, though. 
And here comes Moss the other way, looking in transition to Perkins, an easy layup, 57 to 38. Well, we thought we were gonna get it down to single digits, but Moss and Holmes are really taking over. Here is Holmes in the corner. That is good. 60 to 38. Pittsburgh just taking advantage here, and now with four minutes to go, Watson, aggressive take right there. He is a lefty. He gets the left-handed shot to go. He's in double digit digits with 11. Here's Elias Dulak. Well, I need to figure out how to get going as well. Manny Pablo gets the and one. One thing I love about Pablo is he can run in transition, and that's one thing I love to do with him when he is on the floor. And he can really be our point forward for our second unit. I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I think I'm going to probably move Cutler to the starting lineup and then see Manny Pablo as really the point forward off the bench. And here is Elias Dulock. And that is actually his first points of the game right there with three minutes to go. That's inexcusable, to be honest with you, especially since he, he's our leading scorer. But here is Pittsburgh with the dagger right there. I don't know how he got that hook shot to go. And now the last shot of the game, King Watson in the corner. He's going to miss, but this was a blowout from beginning to end pretty much. 69 to 47. And the basketball team does not look pretty right now. It looks like this is going to be a true rebuild. You know, both the basketball team and the football team have their struggles. I would say right now the football team is probably ahead of the basketball team, but it's okay. Roland Moss had 22 points. Holmes only had 13. It seemed like Holmes was really the one scoring, but it was actually Moss who was getting off in that game. And then you can see King Watson led our team with 13 three assists, 4 of 11 from the field. Like I said, I do want to get the three-point game going. Cutler only took one three. I'm definitely going to be taking like probably like four or five threes with Cutler a game. And I want to try to get Christian Love going with his shot and along with Elias Dulock. I think that we can definitely take advantage of teams, especially running plays that are predicated off of the three-point shot. So we go into the next game versus Virginia, and we end up being down by five with two minutes to go, and we end up winning by two. Tristan Wynn had 15 in this game. He shot five of 13, three of seven from deep. Cutler actually went three of six from deep also. That's exactly what I want to see. Next, we play Georgetown. So we get our third victory of the season right there. And Georgetown actually only beats us by six. So a couple of close games here for the Whitetails. We are being competitive. So that is really, really good to see it. And we actually go one and two in this episode. I guess in this after that game, we go one and two. But I do want to just talk about something really quick. So our team is actually sponsored by Adidas. So you can just see right here what I'm doing is going in and putting Adidas shoes on everybody. I want to just make that clear. We are sp sponsored by Adidas. So any year you will see on the players, it's going to be Adidas. But we are 3-8. and eight. That is not updated. I don't know why it says 2-7 and seven right there, the power rankings. But we have dropped significantly in the power rankings. And we could be headed for the number one draft pick, to be honest with you. David Cutler, like I said, is going to move to the starting lineup. I'm probably going to have him at the point guard, not the two. I'm going to move probably Watson over to the two guard, David Cutler at the one. And then I will, like I said, have Manny Pablo running the second unit. But we are three and eight. You can just see right here, we're shooting 38% from the field, 32% from three. So I definitely want to improve that percentage quite a bit. But we'll see what happens because next episode we return with the football squad. We'll probably have a mix of both. But we'll see. We go against Duke. That's our next basketball game. So that's going to be a tough one. But that's going to do it today. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Let me know what you think of the basketball team and tips. And like I said, I want to just get better at the game. And really, who do you think should get the minutes here? Because we're obviously not competing here in year one. So I want to get some guys that should get playing time. Some playing time. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money, I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in a dash and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side, that's how we slide. That's how we ride, yeah, yeah, that's how we ride.